Hi folks, welcome back. Another week's gone past. There's been lots of installs gone through the audio file workshop this week, but probably the audio favorite of the week would be this lovely BMW F10, which has just completed a BMW System 3 Morel, along with rear speaker upgrade and an additional subwoofer. So let's show you inside. Everything looks pretty standard on the offset. So this car came with Harman Kardon from the factory. Now we've installed the Morel components in the original location. So that's the really cool thing about this system. It's a great sounding system, but everything's in the stock locations. There's no physical changes. We're not doing A-pillar builds like we do with our Utopia upgrade. It's all the way in the stock location. So we've stripped those doors down and done a significant amount of soundproofing, as always, between three and four layers in various parts of the doors. We've also had to run extra cables into the doors because it's a fully active setup, but we have the BMW pins, etc. now, so we're able to add the proper pins, which mean if you've ever got to take the door off this car, the cables actually don't pass through there. There's proper connectors. You undo the connector, the door can come off if that should ever need to happen. We use Forza, order some Forza amplification, and for that we have something called a DRC controller, and we've modified the DRC controller to just sit neatly in the cup holder there. Now, in this car, not only have we used a digital interface to mate to the iDrive, but we've also added something called a Bitcon. That is the Audison Hi-Res Bluetooth Audio Streamer. It's tucked away in the back, and actually, it enables us to directly stream our music to the Bitcon and then directly into the DSP processor. So it's slightly higher bandwidth, slightly higher quality than going through the iDrive, even though the iDrive, we're also using a... Um, a, a a digital interface now when we're in bluetooth streaming mode we need to control the volume so we've programmed this little controller here so it's default once you first turn it on or you turn the system on this will be a master volume control press it again it's going to be a subwoofer level controller press it again it's going to go to our drc presets our dsp presets sorry i meant to say so we put three presets in here. We've got a driver preset. We've got a front listening preset for when driver and passenger both are in. And we've got a full car preset, which brings up the audio in the back. So that all around the car, you've got a kind of nice audio experience. But when you want that pure hi-fi experience, you're going to go back to the driver profile. At that point, everything's time in line for the driver. So we've got the Morel 4-inch, the Morel tweeter, and the Morel underseat woofers. This system is driven from an Audison Forza 12.14 amplifier so it means 14 channels of dsp 12 channels of amplification so we're even actually amplifying the original effect speakers in the rear shelf and they're independently controllable so depending on which profile you're on they're going to be playing at various levels all pretty quiet to be honest in most of them i'll show you the subwoofer in the back it's pretty cool um, just one second let's pop the trunk and there's the sub so that's the JL Audio 10W3. It's an awesome subwoofer and a lovely pre-made enclosure. We've also got the boxes there that you can see for the Morel equipment. If you find that interesting, we've upgraded the rear speakers in here and we've used the Focal ES100KEs. They're what we use in our standard System 1, System 2, System 3 and System 3 Plus. It's just the Morel upgrade or the Utopia upgrade that uses the better front end. But these are absolutely more than adequate for rear fill they're very in fact they're overkill for rear fill um, on top of the the Audison amplifiers are mounted down the bottom there you've got the Audison amplifier you've got the Bitcon you've got the digital interface and you've also got the new Forza mono amplifier which is driving this 2.0 JL Audio subwoofer and that JL Audio subwoofer just playing really low you know it's about 60 hertz and down it's just kind of putting that bottom end, that bottom octave, if you like, into the sound system that you can't really get from the underseat subs. Or you can, but not at enough level for when you're moving. So it's really nice to have the additional bass. So there you go, System 3 Morel with rear speaker upgrade, digital integration, Bitcoin and an additional subwoofer. It's quite a system. It takes us about four days to complete. I know we say this a lot, but we do have a demo car just sitting over there, which has got the exact same system in it pretty much. So if you ever want to come and have a demo, just give us a shout. Um, we'd love to demonstrate the car to you. It does sound awesome. There's no obligation. We can just sit and play some tunes, have a coffee, chat about car audio, chat about anything and uh, go from there. There you go, folks. It's Friday afternoon. I'm just waiting for the customer to collect this car. Hopefully he's going to love it. We've just given it a final tune. It does sound really awesome. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much for watching.